Hi, my name is Amber. Welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So today starts kind of a fun project that, <clears throat> excuse me, I have been hinting at for a little while in the last couple of my videos. And this is a continuation of my Read Like a Booktuber project, but also combining a little bit of a project that Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library and I have been talking about for a little while. Uh, she and I have wanted to do some collaborating for quite a while. Now, she and I have collaborated with Sarah for um, Bookless Thursday, but she and I, since we live so close together, have wanted to do something um, fun between the two of our channels for, like I said, quite a while. So we came up with kind of a unique idea this summer. Now, she and I are both traveling in the month of July. So we said like, you know, what could we do? How could we collaborate? um this summer <clears throat> so we have come up with the idea of switching kindles <laughs> so for the month or at least for the next like week or two i am going to have Lindsay's kindle and she is going to have mine so i am getting used to this because Lindsay's kindle is actually a different version than mine um and so yeah we have each other's kindles and so not only am I going to read like Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, like I have been in all of my other read like a booktubers, I am actually reading on her device and she's gonna be doing the same for me. Now, we may do this, you know, slightly differently. Um, I know she is probably going to involve some of her um, uh, role, what is, are they calling it? I've got my papers here. Um, uh, you roll your next read. I am not sure if I'll include that or not. Um, it kind of all depends on, you know, where my mood lands, uh, cause I am going on vacation next week and actually I believe Lindsay is too. So we just thought this was kind of a fun and unique idea, um, for something for us to do together. So yeah, I am loving having her Kindle. She has got like the cutest stickers on here. My Kindle is going to look so basic compared to hers, but, um, like I love this silently judging your bookshelf. And then she's got all of these fun stickers on the back, like, um, I tried to form a gang, but it turned into a book club. <laughs> it's just so funny. So, um, meet me at the bookstore. So yeah, I have to go through here, um, and kind of see what she's got. I I've done a little bit, so I haven't completely decided what I'm going to start with, but I'm going to have a whole week on vacation to, yeah, just decide what I'm going to want to read and go from there. But it just, it gave us access to each other's, you know, whole Kindle, um, collection, anything we had on Kindle Unlimited, because I believe we're both Kindle Unlimited members, anything that we would have had on NetGalley on our Kindles, you know, we're going to have access to, which is just kind of a unique idea. So yeah, that is my project here for July. So I'm going to have this kind of be, you know, vlog style. I'll keep you updated on what I'm reading. So normally I would have had, you know, my featured booktuber, pick a book for me, but in this case, I'm just picking off a Lindsay's Kindle. So it's like she picked for me because, I mean, she picked these books to put on her Kindle. So join me in this fun journey and we will see what I get up to. All right, so I have been looking through Lindsay's Kindle and she has so many good choices on here. Um, there are a lot of different books that I wanna read. So thank goodness I have an entire week of camping coming up that I'll just be able to read and read and read. Um, but I think the book that I'm going to start off with is Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle. And I choose that because I'm coming off of reading a thriller. And I also have the physical copy of Riley Sager's uh, new book sitting on my nightstand. Um, so I think that's gonna be the physical book that I pick up. So I needed something that would be a different genre to read. And I also know that the audiobook is available on Everand. So I figured that would be, you know, a good thing to kind of pair together. I could do some tandem reading. Um, and it's a book that I don't have access to on my Kindle. So I think I'm going to start with that one. Uh, but there are several others on here that, yeah, I can't wait to pick up. So I think I'm going to start with that one. We shall see how it goes. I will keep you updated because like I said, I want to do this vlog style um, and just kind of, yeah, keep you updated as I, I read through some of these. Um, and I do believe Julia Whalen does the audiobook of this one. So, I mean, how could I not tandem read these two? Because, yeah, it's just so perfect. And 
because I'm still home these first couple days, um, it is currently July 3rd. Ow, my darn desk gets in the way. It's currently July 3rd and I don't leave until Monday the 8th. So I do have a little bit of time where I can kind of tandem and do some audiobooks with these. I figured this would be a great opportunity for that. And then I will solely be reading off of her Kindle once I go camping. So yep, we're gonna start with that one and we will go from there. All right, I am back because I realized I have not done a wrap up on the first book from Lindsay's Kindle that I read. And then I never started an update about the second book that I read from Lindsay's Kindle. And Lindsay is kicking my butt when it comes to putting out these videos because she has already put out two videos reading from my Kindle and I haven't put out any. Now, Lindsay is a fabulous vlogger and let's face it, I am not. <laughs> So I figured it's about time that I give you some updates. So the first book um, that you would have just heard me talk about was Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle. And when I finished this one, I ended up giving it four stars. Now I enjoyed it. It was, it was basically what I would call like easy reading. Um, I like Rebecca Searle's writing. It's, it's easy to read. Um, she writes enjoyable characters, although I think you do get a little annoyed with her main character. Now I have to look back because um, it's been a while. Oh, Daphne. Um, you get a little annoyed with her um, every once in a while um, just because she is so hooked on um, the fact that she thinks, you know, these cards are going to predict, you know, how long she is going to be with somebody. And so you're almost fearful that she's going to ruin these relationships depending on these cards so much. And so I don't want to say too much about the ending of this book because there are some twists that happen <laughs> and talking about them would clearly spoil the book. And so I, I don't want to go too much into it because I think it's best that you just kind of go into this, you know, knowing that it's going to be an enjoyable read. Um, but after going and finishing this book, I kind of went through and read some of the ratings because this only has um, currently a 3.66 rating on Goodreads. And I was reading some of the negative reviews and I can see where people are coming from. Now, I would not suggest you read the negative reviews before you pick this up. Um, but now knowing what has happened, I was like, okay, like I can see where people are coming from. And understand why they feel that way. So I thought it was cute. I thought it was a very unique idea. Um, but you know, even now, I guess, taking a step back um, from my reading experience, because it's been a while since I finished it, um, would I necessarily even give it a four? Maybe not. Maybe I would probably put it at like a three and a half. But even so, like, it was still a good book. Um, and I, I, I'm still glad I picked it up. So then the second book that I decided to pick up off of Lindsay's Kindle was The September House. And then let me just double check that I get the name on this author right. Um, and the reason it took me so long to pick up a second book was when I was on vacation, I did decide to pick up the new Riley Sager book. So it did take me a little bit to pick up another book. And my reading has just been super slow in July. Um, I have been gone on so many different like trips and vacations and they weren't necessarily vacations that were reading vacations um or even when I thought they were going to be reading vacations they weren't um but with the September House this is by Carissa Orlando and now I believe there was a lot about this book um this it must have been last year because now that I'm looking at Goodreads it says it was a nominee for best horror in 2023 and it was also a nominee for the best debut in 2023 and I am shocked that this was an author's debut book because it was really good um ultimately I gave it a four where a lot of my friends on Goodreads gave it a five so I am being picky and I think the reason I'm being picky is because it did take me a little bit to get through it and that is a me problem that is not a book problem that is the time I had available to devote to this book so this is definitely not a book problem um but and I even want to I want to read this to you it says a woman is determined to stay in her dream home even after it becomes a haunted nightmare and it is like this book 
takes you for a ride and the, it is creepy <laughs> like the whole premise of this book is that this house comes alive every September the walls are bleeding there are like disemboweled children like ghost children wandering around um there's a you know haunted guy in the basement um there are dead birds flying into the house <laughs> like or birds flying into the house that to kill them it is wild and I don't want to say that our, our main character is unreliable because she's not. Um, but her daughter comes to visit and the whole premise of this is her husband is missing. Um, our main character knows her husband has left, uh, but she really hadn't told her daughter. Her daughter's a grown adult. And so, you know, we're, we're getting bits and pieces of why her husband left. You know, they've gone so many years dealing with the things that go on in this house. And a lot of this happened every September. But otherwise, this is their dream house and this is everything that they want. And so you're going through, you're going through this and trying to determine, well, is this really real or is she seeing things you know she has a priest come and you know try to like bless the house and basically do like an exorcism um and you see things that happen there uh you see the police come and try to figure out like the process of this missing person of her husband and it it, it is definitely taking you on a wild ride and you find i think yourself second guessing you, you know our main character and so it was it was wild and I think even up until the end you didn't know now there were a few things I did guess um which I'm not going to reveal because I don't I I don't want to give anything away but yeah it, this book there are definitely creepy things about it and it was not a book that I, I wanted to pick up at night per se because I live alone and I didn't want to go, you know, to bed thinking about these things. So I am so glad that Lindsay had this on her Kindle that I could pick up. Um, I think this would be a fantastic fall read because this would be, you know, really, really great for creepy season or, you know, like that haunted, you know, Halloween fall time. Um, and like I said, I think my four star rating truly was because I didn't have the amount of time to just really binge this book. And I think if you could in a shorter amount of setting um, or shorter amount of time, I think I probably would have given it five stars versus where I kind of dragged it out over um, more of a week or so. It just, it didn't have the full, full impact that it probably could have had on me. So those are everything that I've picked up off of Lindsay's Kindle so far. Now, I believe I'm going to have it for one more week. So you may see one more video from me, but I just wanted to make sure that I at least put um, one out here so far because, um, like I said, Lindsay is kicking butt when it comes to vlogging with mine. And I just wanted to make sure I was giving this one a fair chance because I have loved doing this. She has such great content um, on her Kindle. And so it has just been so much fun to be able to do this. Plus she has a different style Kindle than I do. And I think it's going to be so weird getting mine back because now I'm so used to hers. So if you have read either of these books that I've talked about in the, um, on Lindsay's Kindle, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.